So farming has become a lot more popular in the last 10, 15 years. So a lot of the farmers are new. And so they think that just, you know, watering, pesticides, chemicals, uh, fertilizers. But part of the care of your plants is monkey management. It is part of, because you can't just plant something and not think about fertilizing it or spraying it. You have to be, there's no management. So monkey management is going to be part of it. And you'll notice that the farmers, there are a lot of farmers in Barbados that absolutely have no problems with monkeys, but you don't hear from them because there's not a problem for them. You only hear about the ones that are complaining about the monkeys. I thought where you're hearing from, there are farmers. And so some of the, I've given you some ideas about here about, um, about how we can coexist with them. And all these ideas that I've got, I have here are from farmers. It's just that sometimes a little bit more labor intensive. So again, it's all about management. Farming is management. You cannot just exclude one thing for another. Basically, so. um, culling is not the answer. It's, I wouldn't, it's not that's not the answer, but we have to know what we're doing. First of all, we absolutely, you cannot cull something without knowing what the population count is. I mean, and then there are some hot spots. Maybe there's a lot more monkeys than sustainable in the area. And that's why they move, keep moving. Because they're looking, monkeys are looking for food, plain and simple. They're looking for food. So I'm not, I won't absolutely rule out because there's some instances where it might be necessary. But to say carte blanche, we should be culling, it's, 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 it doesn't make sense overall. But I'll give you another example. A friend of mine, he moved in. He, he moved, he bought a, he built a house in an area that, that he grew up in and it was by a big mango tree. And he says, oh dear, he has bare problems with, my, with, with monkeys. But he's and his wife are very like, you know, we, we built by the mango tree. So, but the, mango, but the monkeys, I mean, they're I mean, they are pooping all over his house, his car. They're quite aggressive. They kind of stay away from them. And um, so I talk a lot with him and I thought to myself, you know, in the situation like this, Oh, he gave me more information. He goes, because he grew up in the area. He says that the planters in the areas used to shoot monkeys and stake them out and always be shooting, shooting, shooting. Because I was thinking to myself, wow, because I was trying to help him, like how we could try to solve this monkey problem. I was saying to myself, you know what? This is not normal, normal monkey behavior. What you're telling me that they're doing is not normal. They're really angry. I mean, if they come in and bite a fruit or two and throw it down and take off, but these monkeys are physically coming on his property on the car and pooping and so that's not normal behavior unless they're really pissed and he's not personally done anything but that's that generational trauma it's passed down so i'm not saying so for example maybe in that area i might be like okay do a little research find out the, the, the troop the pattern if other people are having problems and maybe for example that might be a troop that might be worth um removing but just now coming bringing some hunter in and he comes and just boop, 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 shoots randomly that doesn't make any sense and if you really want to do really you try to reduce the population you get rid of the breeding females you know you have a troop it's more females than, than males it's the females that breed 